Susan Blackwell and Katie Benny, of course. And today we are side by side with one of my Broadway besties, Heidi Balikenstein. Hi. How do you tell the folks at home where we are and what we're doing today? We are at your apartment and we are having our portrait done by caricature artist extraordinaire, our friend Justin Squiggs Robertson. Hello. Uh, you may know Squiggs' work from such Broadway.com classics as Broadway Inc. And such website classics as squigsonline.com. So check that shit out. <laughs> but in the meantime, we're gonna chat a little bit, right, Katie Manny? And Squigs is gonna draw her a little bit. I'm gonna draw her. And um yeah. and we'll see what artistic magic happens. Here we go. <laughs> Bunny welcomes you too. Thank you. And she welcomes you by biting you. Yes, I'm gonna have to use this oven mitt to uh, protect my you arm. Are the falconer? Yes. Um, how do you know? I like to kick it off with something I like to call 30 second life story. 30 second life story. <laughs> well done. Thanks. Um, you have 30 seconds on the clock. Please um, share your life story with us. Do me a favor. Don't leave out the awesome parts. Oh. 30 seconds starting. Now. Okay, I was born. Uh, I was born in Fresno, California, in mm -hmm. 1971. Yeah. To uh, Dale and Barbara Blickenstaff. She's a teacher. He was the district attorney. Ooh. It's fancy. And I have an older brother. And I had a very happy childhood with lots of family in Fresno. Always knew that I wanted to perform. Was listening to Barbara Streisand records, harmonizing by three. My mom knew I was a musical weirdo. Went to see my first uh, theater show at seven uh, seconds. Four, oh God, I failed! Three, and now I'm on Broadway. Two, one. Good job. <laughs> what the what, Heidi Blake and Staff? Uh, what the what? Harmonizing by three? Harmonizing by three. I remember. What the what? I know. My mom was obsessed with um, one Barbara Streisand album in particular, Streisand Superman. And I would put my ear up to the speaker, and there's a song on there called Answer Me. And I would sing, I was three, and I would sing that song over and over again, and I would harmonize. And my mom would come around the corner and, like, sort of be like, do that. What did that song sound like that you harmonized Do on? Do you wake up very slowly? Does it take a while before you smile? Are your dreams like premonitions? Have you lived them through? Some people do. Those are hard intervals. I hope you'll answer me. It goes on and on. Three years old. Three. What do you think you sounded like then? Like that. We're going to check in with Squigs and see how our portraiture is coming along. How are you doing, Squigs? How's it coming along? Kitty Bunny. <laughs> it's going fine. I'm uh, finishing up the uh, the pencil and inking part of the uh, the sketch. Uh, here is uh, you and you and you, Kitty Bunny. Um, I did a little pencil sketching and I inked over it, uh, erased the pencil uh, lines, and then I have a uh, fan fancy app on my phone where I can scan it into my phone, send it to my computer, and uh, I'll be doing the coloring in Photoshop. So that's where we're at. Oh, it's looking good. Real good. The name of the game is Special Skills. Hit me with that. You have grown and made me a Woo! So your special skill is you do impressions. I do. But all your impressions sound like Cher. Chastity, get back in the house. No, you may not go to Christy McNizzle's for a sleepover. <laughs> Christy McNizzle. My shizzle. The name of the game is Broadway Earworm. Give me that jingle. Oh, the name of the game is Broadway Earworm. Is there a song that just sticks in your head and like you're cleaning, you're vacuuming, and you just sing that song? It just comes to you over and over again. You know it. Anything from Light and the Piazza, particularly the, the song Light and the Piazza. What, what you're like walking, that, what, like what part, what little snippet like spools out of you? Love, love, if you can, my Clara, love. 
love if you can and be loved. That show is always with me. And I play that show a lot when I clean. I play Fable and I vacuum and I cry. <laughs> I met when I met Vicky Clark. I was like, I I swim for my floor and I cry. Do you really? You clean too? Which I, to lay in the piazza. That's yeah, amazing. But especially there's something about that song. <laughs> Guess what time it is? I don't know. It's time for Susan's fantasy jukebox. I got your nose, and you can have it back. But first, you have to sing me a song. Well, everybody knows I'm a big Sheena Easton fan. Everybody knows that. <laughs> I'm almost over. Settle in, everybody. Settle in. I've almost kicked. Is that right? Shook. Shook these blues. Number one fan. Yeah. So when you come back around after painting the town, you'll see I'm almost over you. Oh, every nose back. I can't forgive you and soon I'll forget all those shattered dreams. Although you left me with nothing full of misery. Oh my God, let's check in with Squigs and see how our portrait is coming along. Let's check in with Squigs. I don't know which camera to look at, but we're gonna look at all of them. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's time to see the magical art. There was the start from, there's the ink, and then. That's what we call the ink. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll click away here from Kitty Bunny, uh, and we'll go to, there we are. <gasps> oh, there, look at there's it. There's your oven mitt. It is. It has captured the moment. Yes, I think. I think so. And there's like a sunny gleam behind you, Aww. as if you, you know, just the, the the first morning of the new day. Oh. You're also kind of like a, the Hilton sisters, but joined at the head. Yes, <laughs> we are. I'm Daisy. I don't know that I show. I will never so leave you. Violet. She doesn't um, know a lot of Broadway musicals. I love it so much. I love it so much. And um, Heidi, this isn't your first time at the rodeo because you, <laughs> I know, can you believe that? Are on the Squigs trading cards. I what? Keep, I know, it's a little hard to believe. For all the little show kids who aren't into baseball cards, now they have these. Mm. Guys, this has been another amazing episode of Side by Side by Susan Blackwell. You've got a few seconds to go see Heidi Blickenstaff in Something Rotten. Till July 16th. And you can check out Mr. Man at Broadway.com, Broadway Inc. Yes, Broadway And Inc. also online at... SquigsOnline.com and TheLightsOfBroadway.nyc. Check the cards. it out. Bye! Bye! Look who's finally quiet. Oh. We don't need an oven mitt anymore. We don't need an oven mitt anymore. Ta-ta-ta. Yeah.